So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna expand network adapters. Now you're gonna find your network adapter. You're gonna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter. You're gonna double click on it and then click on properties and then click on Internet Protocol version 4. Make sure that you have obtained the IP address automatically selected and now you're going to select use the following DNS server address. You want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. And now for the next step you want to head over to search again and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. And now you're going to type in netsh space winsock space reset. Click on enter again. Now for the last step, you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed.